Hey there, InfoShot family. Have you ever looked up at the sky, seen the sun shining peacefully and thought, what if, deep below us, something massive and ancient is ticking like a time bomb? Because, believe it or not, it is. Beneath our feet, buried under layers of rock and time, lie monstrous volcanic systems. So powerful, their eruptions could darken the sky, shift climates, and even trigger global chaos. They're called super volcanoes. And today, we're diving headfirst into a world where lava flows for miles, ash blankets continents, and the earth reshapes itself in a matter of hours. So buckle in, InfoShot family. This one's going to be hot, literally. And here's the big question we're exploring today. Is Earth's next super eruption just around the corner? Let's find out. To get started, let's ask, what actually is a supervolcano? We all know what a regular volcano is, molten rock shooting out of a mountain, right? But a supervolcano? That's a whole other level. It doesn't just blow off a little steam. It explodes with the force of thousands of nuclear bombs. We're re-talking about eruptions that can release over 1,000 cubic kilometers of material, enough ash to cover entire countries. That's why they're called super. Now the scary part, unlike regular volcanoes, super volcanoes often don't look like giant mountains. Many are calderas, massive sunken areas that formed after previous eruptions collapsed the land above. You might be standing on one right now and not even know it. Let's take a look at some of the biggest ones on Earth. The most famous, Yellowstone, in the United States. It's located in Wyoming, and millions of people visit it every year to see geysers like Old Faithful. But here's the catch. All that bubbling, steaming activity is a sign of something huge below. An enormous magma chamber stretching about 50 kilometers long. Scientists say it's like a ticking clock. Yellowstone last erupted about 640,000 years ago, and some experts say it could erupt again. But Yellowstone isn't alone. There's Toba in Indonesia, responsible for one of the most catastrophic eruptions in human history. Roughly 74,000 years ago, Toba blew its top, sending ash across Asia, possibly lowering global temperatures by several degrees and nearly wiping out the human population. Yes, you heard that right. Some genetic studies suggest only a few thousand humans survived that blast. Then there's Campi Flegre near Naples, Italy, another sleeping giant showing recent signs of waking up. Add in Lake Taupo in New Zealand and Long Valley in California. And Earth is littered with these dangerous beasts. So how bad could it be if one erupted today? Let's imagine you wake up. The sky is dark, not from clouds, but from ash. Your phone isn't working. The internet is down, planes are grounded, governments are silent, and outside, ash is falling like snow. That's not science fiction. It's the reality of a supervolcano eruption. The initial explosion would devastate everything nearby, cities, forests, rivers, all buried in seconds. But the global effects would be even worse. Ash would rise high into the stratosphere and circle the globe, blocking sunlight. We'd face a volcanic winter, months or years of darkness and cold. Crops would fail. Food shortages would hit. Air travel might stop for months. And billions of people could be affected. This isn't just about lava and explosions. It's about global survival. Now here's a twist. Super volcanoes don't erupt often. That's good news. But it also makes them harder to predict. Because the last time a supervolcano erupted, humans hadn't invented writing yet. So we rely on geological clues, layers of ash, rock formations, ancient lake beds, to figure out what might come next. Yellowstone, for example, erupted 2.1 million years ago, then 1.3 million years ago, then 640,000 years ago. You might think, aha, it erupts every now 600,000 years, and we're overdue. But Earth doesn't use a calendar like we do. Scientists warn, we shouldn't panic based on patterns. Instead, we should focus on monitoring signs. So what do scientists look for? Number one, earthquakes. Before any big eruption, small quakes often shake the area. They're caused by magma moving underground. Number two, 
ground deformation. This means the land rises or shifts like a balloon inflating beneath your feet. At Yellowstone, satellites have recorded ground uplift, sometimes by centimeters per year. Three, gas emissions. When magma rises, it releases gases like sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide. Scientists have detected unusual gas patterns at multiple supervolcano sites in recent years. Does this mean an eruption is coming soon? Not necessarily, but it means the Earth is active, and that's worth watching. Let's dive deeper into Yellowstone for a moment. The Yellowstone supervolcano is powered by a hotspot, a plume of superheated rock rising from deep within the Earth. Over millions of years, this hotspot has left a trail of eruptions across the western U.S. Today, it sits under Yellowstone National Park. Now, here's the eerie part. Yellowstone has had over 10,000 earthquakes in a single year. Most are small, but every now and then, a swarm hits. Some scientists say these swarms could be a warning sign. Others say it's normal activity. The truth? We just don't know enough yet. That's why Yellowstone is one of the most closely monitored volcanic areas in the world, with seismographs, GPS, gas sensors, and satellite imaging. They're watching every second. So what would happen if Yellowstone erupted today? Here's a possible timeline. Weeks before, earthquake swarms increase, the ground starts rising, scientists warn of potential danger. Days before, gas emissions spike, animals behave strangely, Emergency alerts go out. Hours before, steam vents open, roads crack, the sky darkens. Then, boom, a massive explosion tears through the earth. Ash blasts 30 kilometers into the sky. Lava floods the region. Ash covers the Midwest, maybe even reaching Europe. Within hours, the global temperature drops. Crops fail within weeks. Panic spreads. That's the nightmare scenario. So, is there anything we can do? Can we stop a supervolcano? Well, NASA once proposed an idea. They suggested drilling into Yellowstone's magma chamber and pumping in water to cool it down. The cost, over $3 billion. The risk, if something goes wrong, it could trigger an eruption. So for now, it's just an idea. Other experts suggest early warning systems, food reserves, and global response plans. But honestly, the best defense is understanding. Because the more we know about Earth's deep power, the better we can prepare. Now here's a fascinating twist. Supervolcanoes might not be just threats. They may have shaped our evolution. Some scientists believe the eruption of Toba caused a genetic bottleneck a moment when the human population shrank dramatically. That near extinction may have made us stronger, more adaptable. So, in a strange way, these eruptions helped shape the species we are today. They've changed climates, rewritten geographies, and tested civilizations. They're terrifying. But they're also a reminder of just how alive our planet is. So now, InfoShot family, let's bring it all together. Supervolcanoes are rare, but they're real. Their eruptions could reshape the Earth. And while we can't predict exactly when or where, we can prepare, monitor, and stay informed. Next time you visit Yellowstone or see steam rising from the Earth, remember, beneath that calm surface is the beating heart of the planet. Powerful, beautiful, unpredictable. Thanks for joining this volcanic deep dive today. But before you go, Here's something for your curiosity. Next up on InfoShot, Deep Ocean Mysteries, Life Beyond Our Understanding. Because if what's under the ground is this mysterious, wait till you see what's hiding beneath the waves. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Like, share, and tell us in the comments. If a supervolcano erupted tomorrow, what's the first thing you'd do? We'll see you in the next one. Stay curious. Stay safe. This is InfoShot, signing off.